Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the seventh ever Bro Jack cast with your favorite Bro Jack, me. All right, let's get down into it. This is a game of a couple of noobs. For those of you who aren't aware of the proper definition of noob, scrub, and or complete garbage player of the game of StarCraft, here's how it goes. You have two categories of players. Players who are good, in which Flash is the only player, and then players who is everybody else, and that's all the scrubs and the noobs. So check them by these IDs. We got Jaybird over here. We got Leaded Veins. Neither of them are Flash. Therefore, they're complete scrub noobs, and they suck at StarCraft. You know, nothing wrong with that because, hey, not everybody can be Flash. We don't hate them. Now, let's get to the important part of the game. Pylon over here. Whoa, what's that? You know, usually I say, let's, all right, you know what? We got to stick to the format here. Jaybird, kind of cool. I get it. It's like, you know, mocking Jay into that, like, you know, Katniss Everdeen vibe going on there. I like that. Who doesn't? Everybody read that book because it's the best. And then over here we got, you know, Fancy also. Be weird. It is like what's weird. It is like the, the kind of thing that's that's going on over here. And then we got Leaded Veins. Which, you know, if you got veins made of lead, maybe they're really tough, so you're a tough guy, but also they're very heavy to hold up. So maybe also you got really, you really swole, you know what I mean? You really, you know, you do you lift, bro? Leaded veins does because he lifts his, his arms every day made of lead. They're quite heavy, so he's got to be mad, mad, uh, mad strong there with the, with the mad lifting, yo. So, in any case, let's get to the game. We got Jaybird here doing some gateway shenanigans. This is a proxy gate. Now, noob thing number one, you're going to do a proxy gate. Maybe you don't need to build your pylon here. Maybe you could just take your gateways and protect your pylon and not make yourself super vulnerable to, I don't know, maybe pylon death. You know, you got to watch out for that. Also, this pylon's super early. God, what a noob. Okay. And then over here, we got mine and mineral. Look at this. Look at, this is some, this is some crap mine. Look at how crappily these mine. Man, Flash would be mining so much better. Let's be honest. All right, so we got leaded veins coming in. Oh, yeah. Was, oh, maybe there'll be a proxy here. So I'm going to build a supply depot. Very smart move. But guess what? There's stuff over here. There's a zealot in your base. This this depot is not going to be doing very much good. Oh, there's the pull. Oh, look at that. Maybe you should pull this back. Oh, no, you're a complete noob. Maybe you should save this SCV. Oh, no, you're a complete noob. Oh, wow. Two, two work is killed already. Wow, already worth. Hashtag worth already hashtag worth this zealot's like you know what i'm gonna wait for my buddy because i'm afraid one of my buddies went in there and he's like oh yeah let's go for aya and he's like oh wait a minute we're going for aya yeah yeah for aya okay all right let's go for aya all right 2v2 we're pretty good and then the the uh the worker's gonna come in here and get killed yeah maybe you should pull back this way no maybe you could pull back uh one of these pull back this way so it doesn't maybe you could just pull back a, a worker anytime you want to go ahead and do that you know, because this guy doesn't care, all right? Leaded Veins does not care about his workers. He's like, health benefits, get out of here. You know, safe working conditions, be quiet. You need this job more than I need you as a worker. Supply and demand, etc. That's what Leaded Veins says. He's always saying that kind of stuff because he's a bit of a jerk. All right, building a widow mine, pretty sick because, you know, when you're a complete noob and you don't know what to do, Build cloaked units. The other noob is probably going to derp in their face and not be able to do anything. In the meantime, you know what? What's better than two gateways? Three. Because you can't macro. That's right. You can't macro. Hardcore supply block here. This has been like the supply block of the century. Is totally screwing Jaybird up. You could have had like 18 zealots in the main killing stuff right now. But instead, nope. None. That's the amount of zealots he's got in the main. None zealots. Uh, and that is not, by the way, the religious none. That is the number none. So get on my level. He's also building a cybernetics core. It's going to be tough to uh, do anything with that cybernetics core if you're not going to get gas, bro. So maybe you should, do you even gas, bro? Maybe you should get on that anytime you're interested in doing that. Also building a forge. You know, he's building a base in the base. The base in the base strategy is, is pretty good strat. You know, it's not too bad. Uh, I mean, who knows? There he goes. You know, how do you deal with the, uh, you know, the widow mine? He says, oh. I could just build a cannon, wait for the cannon to complete, and then maybe the widow mine will be dumb and stay there in range of vision and then get killed off by the cannon. This is noob zone, so anything could happen. Just keep that in mind. Oh, speaking of which, bam, slam. 
Thank you, ma'am. Right in the face, getting destroyed by that widow mine, and then just you know not committing. That's what this this is. This guy is like really afraid. He's never been married. He's never going to be married. He's just afraid of commitment. He's afraid. Oh my God! Did you really not even? Nope. Didn't move the mine at all. Well, I guess you know when when you suck at StarCraft, that that works. Just keep in mind when you stop playing players who don't suck. That is not going to work anymore. Just, you know, keep that in mind in your brain for ahead of time for later. But yeah, man, let's get back to this commitment issue. Jaybird is having some serious, you know, this is some serious stuff. He might need to go see a therapist for these commitment issues he's got going on here. It's like, you're going to commit to the fight. you got to commit. You don't, look at that again, you know. Get in there. He's attacking your cannon. Get in there. Yeah, there we go. Force him back. You don't run back until he's running back. That's you. You go, get at me, bro. Just get up in his face, and then we start stepping, you know, get back. Then, all right, you'd be like, all right, all right, you keep walking. You say that as he walks away. Keep walking, whatever. You know, you keep that kind of thing going on. But you don't, like, go up there, get shot in the face a couple of times, and turn around. If you're going to make the effort to get into his face while taking bullets to your face, get in his face, you know. That's basically, you know, what I like to call getting in their face. It's a very, you know, advanced technique. I don't expect all you noobs to understand it, but... Basically, that's how the Brojack, you know, do. Uh, yeah, so another another probe coming in. Looks like he lost his initial probie, and uh, that's that's rough. That's a rough, you know. He actually, I think Jaybird is a kind of guy who, who really cares about his workers, you know, uh, unlike this other guy. And he's going to go ahead and, you know, try to get in here. And I feel like we've been sort of neglecting the, the Terran base. So let's get in here. What do we got going on? All right, nine minutes into the game, you're finally getting up to 14 workers. Great. Uh, finally getting some gas again for some more widow mines. And he's just building marines, uh, which aren't all that great against cannons. You know what's good against cannons? Marauders. Uh, you could just, you know, go ahead and get this tech lab anytime while you're queuing three per barracks and wasting all kinds of money like a noob. Maybe you could just, you know what? Sometimes you just got to accept that you're a noob. You know, we talked about Jaybird and his commitment issues. He's got issues committing. Uh, Let it veins. He's also got his own issues. We, we all got our own issues. He's got issues with accepting that he's a noob. And that's a very important part of being a noob. You've got to start off. You've got to accept that you're a noob. If you can't macro, build some more barracks. All right? Just, just accept it. Be like, all right, I know that I can't macro. I, I know that I suck at it. So I'm going to build some extra barracks that I shouldn't have to build. But since I suck, I have to build them. You know, just get used to that. Also, probably going for the hashtag hard count of static D, which is the um, which is the tank. Okay, siege tanks are like static D on steroids because they siege up, they turn into static D. It's really the best of both worlds. It's like a unit that turns into static D, which is the best unit in the game, being static D. So it's it's really tough to deal with, and hopefully he won't be a complete noob, and he'll actually use it with some some skill. In the meantime, finally gas is getting gathered up by this uh, Poros player. We did get some some stalkers out. That's great. Maybe you could get off a of gateway tech. There's an idea. It's a crazy one. It's a crazy idea. And he says, no. Why would I get off a of gateway tech? Why would I go ahead and get units that can actually get something done when well, I could just build more cannons, build more static D? I like this guy. Jaybird. Very smart. Very smart moves here. All right. We got the high ground siege tank. He sieged up exactly outside of range of all of these cannons. Uh, and he's freaking out a little. Oh, oh, we probably should have killed those while they were warping in and not dealing any damage to anything at all. All right, but now he's in range. Now he's doing his thing. All right, he's getting vision. Just so you guys know, just for you noobs there, this is the siege tank range. Notice it can hit these things, but the siege tank vision, not so good. So maybe you can get a flying thin, but again, why tech when you could just build more static D? You know, think about it. Logic. Done. All right. More static D coming out in the form of more siege tanks here. Excellent moves. And uh, he's going to try to get out of this hard contain. You know hard counters? You know hard counters are real things? Hard contains are real things too. And this is about the hardest of hard contains that you could even ever get in yourself into. Uh, speaking of getting yourself into, it looks like this stock here is having a bad time. Oh, battle! Hype! Hype! Oh, it's big battle! Hype! Hype! Okay, hype is all done. Well, well done. That was my cast of hype. I hope you liked it. But yeah, so Stalker over here, he's basically, he's trapped. He's pretty much screwed until Blink comes out, which might be never. Oh, pro tip, by the way, Blood in Veins, don't siege up your siege tank in range of cannons. 
free advice. Free advice from Brojack. From me to you, don't siege a siege tank in range of Static D. Alright, what do we got for minerals? Not too much left. We're running out of time. Fortunately, Leather Veins doesn't know how to build workers, so there's a lot of minerals here. <laughs> because not many workers have been built in the, the amount of time it's been going on. In the meantime, however, uh, Jaybird going up to 33 out of 24. Uh, obviously, Jaybird did not do very many fractions as a child, not really understanding that these workers are literally doing nothing. Pro tips, pro tips. Yeah, I know there's an oracle coming in. Who even cares? Pro tips, pro tips. Don't go over 24. Long distance mine before you even do that. Oh, check this out. Oracle didn't miss it. That's some pro casting. Two kills, three kills, four kills, five kills. Oh, my God. I could keep counting, but you guys also know how to count. And there's also a kill counter over here. We're up to eight kills, eight dead workers, which brings leaded veins down to the fantastic amount of 14 workers, which is basically what he's been at for the entire 15-minute game that's been going on here. Maybe you should, you know, take care of your workers because without your workers, you don't have much of an economy. Stop crushing the middle class. All right, agenda political stuff over hashtag oracles. That's really what the uh, the economy of the world needs is less oracles. Oracles running and killing all the workers. You got to watch out for those. Uh, economic harass is really really difficult to deal with. And uh, you know what? What's better than one oracle? Two oracles. I like this guy. This guy's obviously America all the way. Bigger is better. More is better every time, no matter what. Get used to it. Uh, yeah, so we're putting that siege tank on low ground. Uh, no reason to do that because you absolutely have, you know, you can hit everything from this little spot. You can hit, like, all this stuff right here. You just need a vision. So, again, pro tips. Siege tanks, they got vision. You know, issues. They're nearsighted. They need some glasses. So, go get them some some spotters to help them out. Uh, yeah. Ooh, look at this. You know, let it vein. Learn from mistakes. Gonna go ahead and siege outside of the photon cannon range. But he's also gonna not protect it at all with his army. He's going to say, oh wait, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait until the siege tank is totally dead and then I'll move in with my army. Pro strats, bro. Keep him going. Looking good. And it looks like he's finally going to break this hashtag hot contain. And <laughs> I just looked at the supplies, guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> They're even. We're going to keep playing this game. I can't even believe it. I can't even... We got even supply. What are the workers at? All right, so it's 49 workers to 10 workers. So there's that. <laughs> there's that to deal with. And apparently he brought in his workers over here because he thought they'd be more useful attacking than mining the minerals that are left in this base. He's like, oh, there's only like 5,000 minerals left in this base, man. I hope I did the math right. Nope. All right. You know, and you know what I'm going to do? Instead of long distance mining or even short distance mining, I'm just going to hang out here with my SCVs. I'm going to make them into idle SCVs. Oh, wow. He's got mad. <laughs> Look at all. The he's got three command centers and no mining. That, like, zero mining. And he's got three command centers. Dude, just because the minerals are low doesn't mean they don't exist anymore, all right? That's like saying short people don't exist because they're not tall enough to exist. That's very rude. You shouldn't say things like that, all right? Knock it off. Double Oracle coming in. Really scary, but it's not really scary when you have one metric crap ton of Marines. Just so you know the numbers, six Marines kill an Oracle, 11 Marines kill two Oracles, and 14 Marines kill three Oracles. So the higher the Marine counts get, the higher the Oracles get. Well, I'm giving actual advice here. Hold on a sec. Whoa. I just slipped into actual, like, real analytical advice there. Sorry about that. Let's get back to the bro science. Uh, oracles are mad good. Build lots of them. <laughs> nice. All right. So we got this uh, counterattack coming in here, and... Yeah, no Nexus Cannon to be found anyways. Uh, this is why you want to build a Nexus Cannon. Uh, by the way, Nexus Cannon built at the Nexus. It's called a Mothership Core, but really what it is is the Nexus Cannon Creator. Uh, is really what they should have called it. But, you know, they said too many syllables, not so good. Uh, and Jaybird, you know, he's doing the best that he can. And, you know, like that, you know, that song says, you can try the best you can, it's good enough. Guess what? It's not good enough in StarCraft. The best you can sometimes gets you killed. And this is one of those times, maybe. We've got a couple of more oracles. Again, loving it. Build more oracles. The more oracles you build, the better you win. That's 
Prawn Science. Yeah. All right. So basically, the Oracle here is gonna gonna win the game. Uh, Probe's actually pretty good at killing Marauders. Don't know if you guys knew that or not, but hashtag hard counted, right? We're getting into that. And, you know, we're basically, you know, you know, things are even, you know, pretty much even supplies, 25 to 48, pretty much the same. Let's check out the work accounts. And <laughs> Jaybird <laughs> still has more workers <laughs> than Letter Veins. All right, Letter Veins, man. You gotta, you really, I know I'm sounding like a broken record here, but you gotta care a little bit more about your workers. I mean, I know that the, that the siege tanks are cool and the widow mines are cool, but, you know, just, you gotta care about the common man, and that is workers. That's this guy right here, you know, with the trucker hat, he's got a cigarette in his mouth, he's got a cigarette in his ear, he's like loading up, he's chain smoking him, you know, and that's just so he can stay awake. That's literally so he can stay awake and mine minerals forever. Because did you notice? SCVs never sleep. They don't get smoke breaks, so they have to smoke while they're working. They don't get breaks. They don't get basically to do anything at all except work 100% of the time. They're pretty much slaves. I don't know what they pay these guys in or, or whatever it is, but I mean, it seems very unfair to me. Also, small tip. Small tip before I go back into the nonsense. Uh, mules repair at the same rate as SCVs. So just send your SCVs and let the mules mine. Just pro tips from me to you. I'm here to help. I'm here to like destroy your self-esteem and make you accept that you're a new, but I'm also here to help. So don't repair with mules unless you absolutely have to. Mules are better off mining 99.999% of the time. By the way, that is a real statistic that is not made up. So you know, just keep that in mind. Also flying oracles over marines, probably a bad idea. Just throw it out there. I'm not 100% sure on that one. You know, I'm not, I don't have the stats on that, but I'm pretty sure it's a good idea. Oh, hey, he's got his Nexus Cannon Maker. Yo, dude, dude, make your Nexus Cannon with your Nexus. You got it. Dude, yeah, there we go. All right, we got, you know, we're a little bit slow in the reaction time. And then it's always good after you make the Nexus Cannon to just sacrifice 100 gas and 100 minerals directly into the army of your opponent, you know? It, because otherwise you're making it too easy for them, right? You know, if you can just sit there, protect your spellcasters, let them gain energy and value for you. Think about that. That's just way you're gonna win too many games doing that. So you gotta even the odds and say, hey, this is an Imba unit, so I'll let you kill it. I'll do one cannon, one Nexus cannon, and then I'll let you kill it. It's like a gentleman's agreement of like no rush twenty. Same thing. Also, he felt like he had too many workers there. Good move. Good move. You know what? Four workers. It's a great number. It's very efficient. Um, and he's want to, gonna want to keep them alive and try to hide them behind these uh, stalactites or stalagmites, whichever ones you know come out of the ground. Because uh, well, obviously we're in a cave, right, uh, or something? Probably. He's gonna move in here and let it veins. You know, looking pretty good. Let all right. I gotta say, he's probably looking pretty good here. He's got a large army. Jay Bear can see that. Let's see what's going on in the. Uh, maybe over here. Uh, all right, Jaybird. It's time you gotta admit what is GG, and uh, I think it's that time. Oh wow, good timing, good GG timing, good GG timing. You know he fights to the end, and you gotta respect that. Well done to Leaded Veins for you know not giving a crap about his workers and being a jerk and giving them really poor working conditions and never letting them have a smoke break, so they gotta smoke on the job. Good job to Leaded Veins for that, and then of course we gotta commend Jaybird for building a base in someone else's base, you know, because that's fun. Go do it. Go give it a shot. My name is Bro Jack. Thanks for hanging out with me and uh, hope to see you again soon. Please let me know how awesome my casting is and how good I am at StarCraft and, and how I'm the best in the comments section. So please let me know how, how awesome I am. And uh, when you're done doing that, you know, go be a noob and just, you know, embrace your noobness because that's where it's at. Thank <laughs> you.